Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Crawford from Juniata Elementary, back today with another science lesson. Can you guys see me? How about now? Can you see me now? Hmm. How about now? Can you see me now? Okay, that's better. I was trying to hide myself from you because I am in desperate need of a haircut. Does anybody know what I was using to hide myself? Some of you probably saw that pattern of camouflage. We've been talking about specific ways uh, that animals survive in their habitat. Um, and today we're going to talk about two types of adaptation. We're going to talk about camouflage and we're going to talk about mimicry. All right. Animal adaptation, camouflage, and mimicry. So a chameleon can change the tone of its scales in order to blend in with its environment. A polar bear has white fur so that it can easily blend in with its snowy surroundings. A zebra baby can't be seen when standing next to its mom, protecting it from predators. These are examples of camouflage. Camouflage means to hide or disguise something. Some animals are hidden by their shapes, colors, or patterns. This mother bird and her nest are able to blend in with her surroundings in order to protect her eggs until they hatch. A lot of animals use camouflage to hide from predators who sneak up on their prey. This white-tailed deer fawn has white spots on its back when it's born so that it can lay on the forest floor or grassy field can be hidden from predators while its mother is away. You can hardly see it there. This leopard also uses its spots to hide in the grass, but for a different reason. It is stalking its prey, looking for its next meal. Check out this stonefish. It looks like it's covered in seaweed to help it blend in. Can you see it there? Can you spot the camouflaged frog? This frog has adapted to its environment by developing characteristics that make it look like a fallen leaf. It's right here. This one took me a while to find. Can you spot the flatfish? Some flatfish can change color to hide themselves on the sand. Now some animals look very much like other animals. Imitating the look of another animal is called mimicry. Animals that are not harmful look just like ones that are to avoid being eaten. We all know what a wasp looks like. That's the insect on the left. But look at the one on the right. That's a clear winged moth. It's completely harmless, but it makes itself look like the scary wasp. A non-poisonous viceroy butterfly mimics or looks like a poisonous monarch butterfly. Why has it adapted to look like a monarch? What do you think? That's right, because over time, predators have learned that the monarch butterfly is poisonous. So this viceroy butterfly has adapted to look just like the poisonous one to avoid being eaten. A non-venomous scarlet king snake has adapted to look similar to a deadly eastern coral snake. There are differences in the stripes, but do you think a predator would notice? Probably not. This caterpillar has eye spots on it to make it look like a threatening snake. Here's another animal with eye spots. The eyes confuse a bird that is trying to eat it. The bird thinks that another animal, much larger than the moth, is looking at it. Sometimes animals mimic other things in nature to stay hidden and avoid being eaten. This butterfly looks just like a dead leaf. This walking stick insect looks just like a twig in a tree. When a predator is searching for food, this insect can easily be mistaken for just another extension of a tree. Let's take a look at this brain pop video on camouflage. I'm trying 
to blend in with the bean bags. If Mr. Patchouli can't see me, then he can't make me alphabetize the books. Of course it's gonna work. I'm using camouflage, I think. What is camouflage exactly? Hey, where are all the animals? I bet they're hiding. But where? Wow, that insect looks just like a leaf. Animals use camouflage to hide from predators. You know, the animals that hunt them. Well, camouflage is how an animal blends into its environment. Camouflage is pretty cool, huh, Moby? I didn't even see that bird. I guess predators use camouflage too. It helps them stay hidden while they hunt prey. I know lots of predators and prey that use camouflage. Wolves and deer have fur that help them blend into the forest. And both alligators and frogs blend into swamps and ponds. And it's hard to see snakes and mice in the desert because they blend into the sand. Hmm, but I've definitely seen animals that can change color too. Why do some animals change color? Look, that octopus is changing colors. It looks just like a rock. And that fat fish changed color to look just like sand. I guess some animals change colors so they can match their environment. When their environment changes, they change too. Moby, leave it alone. You know we're not supposed to touch animals in the wild. It's okay. Hey, that chameleon changed colors, but now it's easier to see. That's not very good camouflage. It looks angry, too. Maybe it's changing colors to show that it's angry, not to be camouflaged. You know, like how I turn red when I get angry? Hmm. That chameleon changed colors really fast. But I know other animals that change slowly as the weather changes. Hmm. Why do some animals change colors in different seasons? The Arctic fox's fur is brown so it can hide in the forest. But in the winter, it'll get cold and snowy. The Arctic fox's coat turns white so it can blend into its environment. Some owls, rabbits, and wolves can change color for the winter. Hmm, not every animal can change colors to stay hidden. There must be other tricks. How do animals confuse other animals? Cool, look at how those zebra stripes make them blend together as a group. It's probably hard for a predator to pick out just one animal to attack. Hey, a butterfly. Hmm, I wonder how it stays safe. Wow, that butterfly looks like it has eyes on its wings. I guess it uses the spots to scare off animals that want to eat it. What do you think, Moby? Moby? Where do you go? Uh, nice camouflage, Moby, but you still gotta help me alphabetize these books. There you have it, boys and girls. I've always found camouflage and mimicry to be extremely interesting to study. If you get a chance and your parents are okay with it, go onto YouTube and just type in cuttlefish, C-U-T-T-L-E-S-I-S-H. You will find some of the neatest videos of these cuttlefish that live under the ocean. They can change and camouflage themselves so quickly. It's so cool to watch. All right, well, your assignment this week is the following. I want you to answer this question. How do camouflage and mimicry help animals survive in their environment? I just want you to write a short paragraph of the two, three, or four complete sentences in your notebook. Um, and if you want to, you could draw a cool picture of uh, an animal trying to camouflage itself in its environment. That would be fun to do. Um, 
I was happy to spend this time with you again this week. We all miss you. Uh, we only have, I'm looking at my calendar, maybe four weeks left. Um, so we're getting into the home stretch and summer will be here before you know it. All right. Thanks for spending time with me today, third grade.